What's going on, internet? Eric Banholtz here, founder of Beard Brand. And the mullet is cool again, and this is why. Okay, the hairstyle that everyone has loved to hate over the past 20 years is back in style. And I wanna talk about why it's back in style, what's different about this time around, and maybe like tips and tricks for you to rock the mullet if that's the style you wanna go with. First things first, let's do a little bit of mullet history for you guys. The mullet, as you know, blew up into popularity in the late 70s, early 80s, and saw all sorts of iterations. Of course, the mullet is business up front, party in the back. The historic mullet you saw was gonna be like a side parted up front, like super go on business. And then long flowing hair in the back. And typically you saw that pair together with a guy who completely shaved his face or also tended to wear a pedo mustache or if we're not being derogatory, just kind of like your short cop mustache. And it blew up in popularity. I think a couple other iterations you saw were maybe like Patrick Swayze rocking it. And his was gonna be a little bit longer. So you had a little bit more length on the sides. It was a little more flowing. Lesbians seemed to adopt this style for a number of years into the 90s and into the 2000s time frame. And then it just kind of petered out and died and became the laughing stock of every hairstyle out there. But here's the thing, like a lot of things in life, things circle back. Now the mullet has really kind of come back into its own in the past couple of months, really led by comedian Theo Vaughn. If you're a fan of Theo Vaughn, I encourage you to, well, keep on being a fan, but if you're not a fan, check him out. We actually did some collaborations with him and he's a fan of our products. Theo Vaughn has what I would say is more of an ironic mullet because of course he's a comedian. He kind of does it to, to stand out. It's kind of his shit, 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 shit. He's from Louisiana. He's got this great Southern voice and incredible sense of humor about him. And his mullet really just kind of ties into that act. Of course, Theo rocks pretty much a, a completely shaved face as well. Maybe a little bit of scruff or stubble there, a little bit of mustache, but he doesn't rock like a full beard like you're seeing with me. So another reason I think you guys are going to be seeing more mullets right now is, let's be real, short on the sides, long on the top. You can only do so many hairstyles. And we've been doing the dapper look for the past eight to 10 years, you know, the fades, the pompadours, the side parts, and those are classic styles and they're always gonna be available. But if you're a guy that likes to be kind of on the cutting edge of hairstyles, you wanna be ahead of the curve, there's not a lot you can really do with the short on the side, long up top. It's pretty much all been played out. So you need to start looking at different kind of hairstyles. Long hair, the man bun, of course you guys know, that was popular about two or three years ago. That's not really an option if you wanna go forward. So what are you left with? You're left with, you know, like 90s spiky hair, or you're left with Saved by the Bell hair, again from the 90s, where it's side parted, big swooping, a little bit longer on the side, kind of like that surfer look. But I don't know, man, those just don't bring the edge that I think a good mullet is gonna bring. So I think what you're gonna see is like people who really like to push the style aspects of men's hairstyle forward, like they're gonna to lean to the mullet. And the mullet is not gonna be a long lasting hairstyle. Like I think it's gonna be similar to how it was in the past. It'll get popular, a few people wear it or a good number of people wear it, and then it's going to kind of die down. Similar to the top knot, similar to the man bun. It's not gonna be like your side part or your crew cut, your classic cuts. It's gonna be a little more of the flash and pan. So if you're someone who likes to be on the advance of it, now is the time to start considering the hairstyle and start growing your hair out so you can rock it before it gets on the tail end of it. Now, what I think is different this time around with the mullet is you'll see more style forward people wear the mullet. Whereas what you had in the past, I think were maybe people behind the times who didn't exactly know how to get a good cut 
And that's where you saw the disproportions. You saw like really short hair here and super long. And it's that huge disconnect in the hairstyle that really throws it for a loop. I myself am rocking the mullet right now. So you'll see the hair is a little bit longer, but it's not incredibly long. It's actually about the same length as the top of my head. And then the sides have been faded up and then blended in. So it's not like an undercut or disconnect there tapered in to the top of my head. And it gives it like a real nice clean look, of course, from the front. And then a little bit of edge if you're looking at me from three quarters or from behind. Now I think what is the big difference between the mullet in 2018, 2019 versus the mullet of the past is a lot more guys are rocking facial hair. And facial hair really changes the look and style of your hair. It kind of adds a little more edge, a little more ruffian, and it almost like pushes the mullet away from the term mullet and more toward the term like war hawk or kind of like a, a mohawk, like an edgy mohawk type of look. So I think like that's the look that you want to go for in 2018, 2019. And you don't want to go with like that historic 80s mullet where you're completely shaved, spiky hair up top or side parted in the front, and then the long flowing back. So I started growing this hairstyle probably about four months ago. And what I've done during that process is get trims kind of during that process, about one trim every month. So I'll leave the back essentially untouched, maybe just adding a little bit of texture in there, but letting the length come in. And I'm keeping the, sh the sides short and then also keeping the top short. And that's how I've been able to get to this style in a way that I don't look like a fool for four months and kind of have that evolution of style. If you want to get there a little bit quicker, then I say just let it all grow. And then at that three month mark, go in real tight and get the fade on the side. I've been rocking this mullet for about five days now. And I gotta say, I really, I really dig it. Like I really, like being able to walk downtown, walk around people, and know that pretty much no one else is wearing this hairstyle. I think maybe I've seen like four other people over the course of four months wear some kind of mullet. Now the mullet is a pretty technical haircut, so you're gonna wanna make sure you find a good barber or a stylist, because you're not just fading from your ear up to the top of your head, but you're also fading from your eyebrow to the back of your head. So someone who knows how to blend both you know, up and down, like a traditional barber in front to back, is gonna be a little more challenging. Try to find a barber stylist who's done mullet work in the past, because the difference between a good mullet and a bad mullet is really evident. So do yourself a favor, find someone who can cut this, and pay the extra five bucks or 10 bucks to get the look and to be able to hold that look. So personally, I don't know how long I'll be rocking this look. I tend to change my hairstyles up pretty regularly. I like change, I like trying new things, but I may be digging this style for, I don't know, half a year or so. I got my mindset on the next hairstyle where I think guys will be going to. But until that time, I'm gonna enjoy the business up front. The party in the back. Until that time, let me know in the comments, is this a hairstyle that you think will pick up, get adoption? Is it something that you're thinking about rocking and pulling off? As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, cheers. Keep on growing. Thanks for watching this video. Beard Brand has launched a private community called The Alliance. It's for men who are looking to invest in themselves and who are looking to keep on growing. Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.